your may begin your cross examination, Monsieur Falcon. Cross examination. <laughs> what that was even I was doing. Alright. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Alright. So we were alerted and brought to the scene of the crime by the housemaid. Uh, no. That's all correct except for the blood on her paws. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty like... Yeah. The corpse yeah, the blood was on the paws was, open, was which, the only thing that wasn't... That's what I remember. Because... The scene of the crime... Was the cat, yeah. Because, like, because they said there was the, that we didn't find a murder weapon, but it definitely wasn't with her claws. It was with, like, a knife or something. Yeah. And, so, and the housemaid was the one who saw her. That's, yeah, the house, that's and she did say that, yeah, she did say that the housemaid yeah. saw her there and everything. So. All this checks out except that's, this yes, something that's we fun, didn't know yeah. about. Inspector, you say Dame Catalin had blood on her paws? Correct. Blood clung to her fur like guilt to a convict. Because they did have the food. They did have the food. Yeah, so that she yeah, was covered the, in blood. Yeah, the bloody steak. Yep. So, ass... Which they had to eat bare-handed. Yeah, pretty much. There's no silverware. So... Can you go into your evidence and show them the steak thing, or do you have to just say, like, uh, ask, a, ask a question? You can try that. Oh, never mind. We, yep. I guess there's a moment when we can actually present evidence, so never mind. <laughs> so, go ahead and ask, uh... Whose blood? Uh, whose blood was it, or... Yeah. Whose blood was it? Ha! What a question. It was Monsieur Grenouille's, of course. How can you be so sure? Uh, I object. Uh, the line of questioning is absurd. There was only one murder victim that night, Falcon. Come on. Step up your game, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> the blood on Dame Catelyn's paws could have only belonged to one person, Monsieur Grenouille. Judge, judge, Falcon's trying to lay the trial by asking pointless questions. I'm afraid the prosecution may have a point, Monsieur Falcon. <laughs> Do you have any reason to suspect the blood belonged to someone other than Monsieur Grenouille? Hell yeah, I do. Yeah, dog. I do. I do, Your Honor. Actually, I have more than suspicion. I have evidence that the blood on Tim Catalan's paws had nothing to do with the murder. This is foolish time wasting, uh, Falcon. If 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 the blood on on Tim Catalan's paws didn't come from the victim, then where did the blood come from? There you go. On the evening of the murder, Dame Catalin ate bloody rare steak. <gasps> <laughs> Hold it! <laughs> Objection! <laughs> Is this true, Mr. Robinson? Uh, well, I, um, in a matter of speaking, uh, speaking, I suppose the steak may have been on the, uh, menu. Then, Inspector, would you acknowledge the possibility that the blood on the lady's paws had not belonged to the victim, but to the stake? Well, I am a space hopper chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, don't uh, answer that, Inspector. It is a possibility. No. <laughs> no. Intriguing, petty, convincing. Gain favor with the jury. So, Inspector Valerti, is it possible that you arrested an innocent bystander simply for being a messy eater? Now, hold on just one minute, Falcon. You are overlooking something quite crucial. Dame Catalan is an elegant bourgeois kitten. She was no doubt brought up with a flawless etiquette and, um, perfect table manners. At the banquet, she would have eaten the steak with the fork in her left hand and uh, the knife in her right, like any there. proper civilized animal. How could she have possibly got blood on your paws with such good manners? <laughs> oh, that's a good question. Or at least, it would be to any ordinary dinner banquet. But as it happens, something was missing from that particular banquet. <laughs> something that forced Dame Catalan to eat with her paws. The 
the silverware. Silverware. Dame Catalan was forced to eat steak with her paws because... The silverware of the household had previously been stolen. It's stolen? I don't recall any mention of that in the police report. We weren't aware of anything missing from the Rorgrail residence when we performed the initial investigation. But as it happened, Baron Rogriel approached us about this very subject last night. Uh. Haha. <laughs> Innocent, perhaps. What a twist! <laughs> what a twist! Get that thing I sent you. What is the meaning of all of this? <laughs> Bloody steak! Miss my <laughs> silverware! Inspector, <laughs> your investigation was so lax that you overlooked these basic facts in your initial reports. Lax? My investigation? Judge, I assure you I am the most thorough investigative officer on the force. <laughs> <laughs> then it is amazing that the Parisian police managed to solve any crimes at all. Savage. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh, that be on. Be on your way, inspector. Perhaps do a little inspecting <laughs> for your next. You guys case. can't see him. He's like rubbing his cheeks like, really fast. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's pretty great. <laughs> Fine. So be it, Monsieur Messieurs. Until next time. Go, go okay. sit on my eggs. Prosecutor, <laughs> I trust your next witness is ready. <laughs> yes, yes, of course, Your Honor. I, I call upon a, let's see, um, Monsieur Robito Robinho, the uh, photographer who attended the banquet on the night of the murder. Monsieur Robito Robinho. Please approach the stand and recite the oath. <laughs> <laughs> Not it. How does it go? No. How does it go? I swear to speak without hatred and without fear. To tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. I like how villainous this guy sounds. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little cliche to be perfectly honest. Could the uh, witness please introduce himself for the uh, court record? <laughs> As if anyone in this courtroom does not immediately recognize me. I am the great Monsieur Robicio Robinho, cutting edge photographer and visionary. Fucking Rohan. I do not take people's pictures, I capture their very essence. Je suis le artiste. Te us un pipe. You may have seen my works in hip magazines Le Branche or Yes, that that is yes, that yes, that's right. Sechuette. I can send you tweets if you like. What on goddamn What on earth is a tweet? Bird to bird communication. Come on, Falcon. It's the 19th century. Get with the times already. Yes, yes. Your works are very um impressive, Monsieur Robinho. But uh, hmm. let's get down to business. Could you tell us your uh, activities were on the night of the murder? Very well. I was hired by Baron Roger to capture the evening's events. I arrived at seven in the evening. I pointed my camera and captured the beauty of the banquet in one fantastic photograph. Then I billed Baron Wardrill and left him. Like a true artist! And, uh, with regards to the photograph itself, who did you photograph? I thought you might ask. I brought a copy so that all could see for yourselves. Well, oh, that's good we didn't take it then. Because, like, no, this is this is the one that like uh, I, I assume was supposed to be done. In, well, maybe it's not the one that was supposed to be done. Yeah, because this is like the next day. He has he has it. So yeah, so. that's totally yeah. Oh, very good. Let's take a closer look. Yeah. Sweet. 
That's, That's different. fucking different. Wait a minute. Uh, My word, this is an exquisite picture, isn't it? So, let's see. Who do we have Maybe here? Maybe we should have taken it, actually. <laughs> you see... Yeah, the... the, the uh, hands are on the clock. Hands are on the we clock. we know the clock. That's, we can still work, though, because we know the clock thing. <laughs> it says 7.30. That and wasn't uh, Madame Catalan? Madame yeah. Catalan was in the photo before, but... Since that evidence we may or may not be able to use, we still can use the hands on the clock because he himself and his maid said both said that the hands had never been on that clock. They never had hands on the clock, and they have it there for the rest of the conversation yeah. piece. That, that's the angle we're gonna have to take. Yeah, but, since, since oh, we didn't yeah, steal the picture, some, some foul play shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it was, it was, it was very yeah. Yeah, he fucking clearly. Did. Yeah, or or yeah, because or with the mistake with the RC man. Like, so it's gotta, yeah, it's gotta be the Baron. Well, it's just you know the Baron paid off. The, the photographer would be like, yeah, I'm gonna change this fucking picture, you know. The only other angle it could be is that, like, uh, like, Caroline's dad is an asshole, and is, like, trying to frame her. <laughs> that could be For some too. goddamn bizarre-ass reason. Yeah. And he's just trying to, he's trying to no, try, trying to frame her, trying to frame, uh, Rur Griel also. So, like, he's, like, <laughs> two stages away from it. Yeah. So. <laughs> in, in the middle, we see, uh, Baron Rur Griel, the lion, who hosted the event. On the left, we see, uh, mm, Seigneur mm, Pertois de Miao, the founder of the defendant. Oh, de Miao. Okay. Yeah, de Miao. Just got it. Yeah. I, I like just now. Yeah, man. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's full of puns! <laughs> and finally, we see the, uh, the housemaid, Kuling Du Huang, who I suspect may have snuck into the picture uninvited. As you can see, two people are clearly absent from the photograph. The first is the victim, Monsieur Quan Wei. The second is the defendant, Dame Catalina de Miam. Quite suspicious, wouldn't you agree? Just a moment, Monsieur Robertson. This proves nothing. So the defendant and the victim were not photographed with the others. That doesn't mean they were in the garden together at that point. Oh, your house is fancy. I'm not done yet. The prosecution may continue. Behind the photograph, the subjects, we see a wall clock. We see a wall clock. A, a clock that goes on the wall. A wall clock. <laughs> <laughs> With the time set at uh, 7.30. Now why is that time significant? Well, as Inspector Valenti told us earlier, that was the exact time the murder took place. Do you see, Falcon? Every suspect has an alibi at the time of the murder, save for Dame Catalina herself. Falcon, something seem is fishy. In the jail cell, Dame Catalina told us that she was present with the photo, uh, uh, when the photograph took place. But I don't see her in Robinio's photograph. That's true, but I can't use Dame Catalina's testimony as evidence. It has too little weight. If I want to prove that Monsieur Robinio's Photo photograph, photograph. <laughs> is not a valid piece of evidence, I will have to dish out evidence of my own. Your Honor, I would like to cross-examine the witness. Well, the defense may proceed. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of time if you ask me. Photographs are rock solid evidence. Unless they've been doctored. You! Uh, you arrived at 7pm, that's correct. That should be fine. Yeah, we were going with the, the arms on the clock. Uh, yes. So I build them, I don't think there's anything there. Oh. Photograph would be great if we had it, but if... We, it's, uh, still, that's the thing we know is, is uh, out in his hole. Like, because he did arrive at 7pm, according to the testimony that we got earlier. Or not the testimony, but just the story we got from, from the Baron. Wait, maybe it still would be photograph. I think it would. Cause he, I mean, he set up his camera and he took the fucking picture, but the picture is the thing yeah. in this that's wrong. And, yeah. I mean, we have no yeah. idea whether he built the Baron or not, but... Yeah. Uh, that's irrelevant. It's, yeah. Let's take a closer look at this photograph. Photograph! See a mistake Why is in it black? <laughs> yeah. Why is it in black? I think that one's... There's a mistake, yeah. Yeah. Just to clarify, Monsieur Romino, these photographs are a direct reflection of reality, are they not? 
to see you again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is correct. The phot photographic process leaves no room for bias or inaccuracies. That is the most curious, because I see a mistake. A mistake? Impossible! <laughs> I told you, Monsieur, the camera is a perfect, unbiased device. The photographs it produces are flawless. Fair okay. kid, I'm not seeing any mistakes. Perhaps you could be more specific. Certainly. Just the, photo, the clock. Yeah. The clock. Yeah, I just want to see what I can... Oh, yeah. The clock in this photograph. There is not something. There's something not right about it. There's not something right about <laughs> it. But it's very You think there's something wrong with the uh, key piece of evidence that implicates his client? Don't give me that cocky tone, Monsieur Rabington. I have evidence that there's something wrong with the clock in that picture. Let's go. The photograph clearly shows the clock's hands pointing at seven and six. Is much uh, they make you see a baby. Which is most <laughs> curious because the clock in the lounge of the Chateau Cunio <laughs> has n <laughs> no hands. <laughs> Ready to lose all your grace. <laughs> <laughs> it it has no hands? Oh shit. What the fuck? <laughs> the clock is merely a decorative piece, a talking item. Feel free to ask Baron Rorgiel or his housemaid if you have doubts. Monsieur Robinho, explain. Uh, <coughs> sorry, how do you explain this discrepancy? I, uh, I don't know. There must be some sort of mistake. My camera is flawless. Oh, but the tiny bug inside your camera was paid off. Oh to, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there is no those mistake, in Monsieur. Your photograph depicts something that does not exist in the real world. Yeah, like guy Maybe that was an error in the printing process. It. An error precisely where the clock hands should be? Please, Monsieur, don't patronize us. Allow me to offer a more plausible explanation. You, Monsieur Rabinio, edited this photograph. Oh, uh, edited? I'm no expert, but I suspect that you use paint or ink to carefully put hands upon the clock. It would have been a simple task, considering the clock face was bare. One could even speculate that you specifically chose to include a hand, uh, a, a handless, handless clock in the photograph just to justify the editing process. I, I. Heck it, your reasoning is absurd. Why would the witness do such a thing? Huh? Huh? Is it not obvious? By showing the photograph to be taken at taken place at precisely 7.30, it clears all the photograph suspects of sub Fuck, let me try that again. It clears all the photograph subjects of suspicion. In other words, Monsieur Rubinio has created a perfect alibi. Oh, fuck. Of course, this raises further questions. Who is the witness protecting? And why? Why was Monsieur Rubinio coerced, bribed, threatened? Enough silence. Let's hear some answers, Monsieur Rubinio. Why? You've got I'm guilty. I <laughs> wow. did it all. Wow. You did it. Your confession to the murder of Monsieur Grandwi. What? No, 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 no. <laughs> what? No, no, no. I have no idea who killed the frog. I'm just admitting that I'm guilty of producing fraudulent photographs. <laughs> I was ordered to make changes to the printed photographs. And yes, that is included adding hands to the clock. You were ordered? By whom? I... I dare not say. Monsieur Robinio, I strongly advise you to take the defense's question. You have pledged to speak without fear after all. With respect, Judge, I fear his claws more than I fear the punishment of the justice system. I shall name no names. His claws! Do you hear that, Falcon? This is most unfortunate. Monsieur Robinho, 
We cannot and shall not torture names out of you. We do not live under the ancient regime, after all. <laughs> but since you have admitted to falsifying evidence, then we cannot keep you on the stand as our witness. Take your leave. Ye shall be charged with perjury in due course. Ye shall be. Ye. Ye. I can't protest. That's the least I deserve for my failure as an artist. Let's go burn Good down his house. <laughs> yeah. In a oh. poker game. Hmm. Intriguing. Pretty convincing. <laughs> so wait, the tax hands were painted on. And so what? It doesn't matter. The photograph still depicts Dame Catalan is absent close to the time of the murder. That's significant. Don't oh, be deaf, Monsieur Ravington. If the photograph is not completely genuine, then it cannot be considered reliable evidence. Why not? It's still a portrayal of the, uh, night of Vans. Because if we accept that one part of the picture was edited, then we edited, then we must accept the possibility that the other parts were too. It is possible that Dame Catherlin was painted on it, or even worse, it is possible that another person was painted in. We know that the witness was trying to cover for someone, so all possibilities must be accounted for. This game is actually pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Like, like that the housemaid paid off the photographer? Or was it sin for pour de map, perhaps? I don't think so. The housemaid lacks a means or motive, and it wouldn't make sense for Seigneur Proutoir to implicate his own daughter. Well, she's not suggesting that the honest and beloved Baron Rorgiel deliberately tried to frame Dame Catalina. Because that would be yeah, the most handy legislator theory yet. And the Baron is a pillar of our community. He would never do such a thing. Yeah. Monsieur <laughs> Robinson, I'm not here to throw accusations. That's the job of you, the prosecutor. However... <clears throat> who is him? Mayhaps oh, yeah. I should offer my opinion. Final boss time. Yeah, right. it's, not, um, it's not time for your witness testimony yet. So you would think, Prosecutor, and yet I see my good reputation getting tarnished by your incompetence. <laughs> incompetence. Indeed. Let us proceed with witness questioning. Is that fine with you, Judge? Yes, I <laughs> oh, that's uh, fucking fine. whatever. <laughs> Very good. And I trust that the defense has no objections. No, no objections here. Fantastic. Oh, but before I forget, I pledge to speak without fear and prejudice, etc., etc. <laughs> <laughs> now, prosecutor, he, like, barely ask even... me about what I witnessed over the course of the evening. Yeah, he like tells him what to ask. Like, look, what the fuck is this big dick fucking lying? Yeah. Why are you now? Like, oh, I didn't kill the fossil. <laughs> <laughs> like, <now he's> <laughs> <trial>. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Baron Rock, yeah, um, on the, uh, now to the, um, the initial <laughs> dinner went Wow, what the fuck? Day. Like, this is ridiculous. When the photographer arrived, Monsieur Grenouille left to visit the god. Did he pay the judge and him, uh, and everyone off? Like, because he just is allowed to do this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's kind of bullshit. Dame Catalina followed him behind. Er, Dame Catalina followed behind him moments later. Senor Putois, Monsieur Robinho, and myself were engaged in conversation. So we paid her no mind. After the photographer had left, my housemate left to go find Monsieur Grenouille and Dame Catalina. That would be when I heard her cry for her. <laughs> Thank you, Baron. I think we all know the story from there. I would like to cross-examine the witness. Do you doubt my integrity, garçon? I'm just here to uncover the truth, Baron. Very well, then. Hit me with your best shot. Let us establish with absolute certainty <laughs> that I, Baron Rorgio, <laughs> am an honest man. That I, Dio, am an honest man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that a French made a... <laughs> that a French made a... I like how, like, needle-like his mouth is, but he's got so much fat in there somehow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, 